Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to talk about Broadway Studios and kind of review them for you guys I guess. Tell you if it's something like legit and something you may want to do and you should do or if it's a bit more of a scam situation. I have a couple blog clips that I will add in and there as I'm talking and I'm also going to be showing you guys the final pictures and me reacting to them, I guess. And so, yeah, if you're interested, just keep on watching. So let me give you guys a bit of a background story. I received a call on the 27th of July about a complimentary, like complimentary, let's just underline this word, photo shoot at Broadway Studio in Brixton. If you guys don't know this, I'm from London and Brixton is like a little city nearby. I received a call from them about this complimentary photo shoot saying that I showed my interest for it, which I think I'm assuming I did over Instagram because like sometimes on Instagram, you know, you get an ad and you're like, oh yeah, I'm interested or whatever. And I think that's what happened because otherwise I don't really know how they will get my number. The girl over the phone explained me the whole situation and I was kind of skeptical but also she said like complimentary which usually equals free so I was kind of down to the idea and then she told me to pick a date and I kind of picked one randomly I think the following week or whatever and she said oh because you picked one so soon you will get five complimentary photos instead of three which is what they usually like offered and I was like okay hey, cool great and then she started to talk about price and she said oh I need you to pay a 50 like five zero pound deposit for this spot and here's where I got a bit skeptical about this because I was like um that sounds like a lot of money to be paying to a stranger over the phone considering that I had no idea this thing was like legit or whatever and of course she was pressuring me into making the payment straight away and I was like well I'll need to like transfer money from my account to another and then she suggested doing £25 instead so I'm like, if you can do off price, why would you ask me to do 50 bucks? Sketchy! So she went ahead and asked me for the car number, the expiring date, and then something that kind of tricked me was that she asked for a number in the back of the card. I was like, why would you need that? Like usually when you make a payment, you don't really need that. You don't usually say it out loud to someone so yeah i was doing this but at the same time i was like what if i'm just getting scammed right now like this is surely not okay but then we did that and then she sent me this confirmation email saying there vanessa thank you for your booking we're looking forward to meeting you and then it clarified my appointment date which was 3rd of august at 4 30 and the address so after i received the confirmation email i was a bit more chill i guess but i still went ahead and looked them up online and a lot of people were complaining saying that these complimentary photos were not digital photos but they were you know physical super tiny photos and i'm glad that i looked it up and i knew it earlier because i was actually kind of okay with it and it didn't really take me by surprise also she said that i would get my hair and my makeup done for free on the day which was also probably one of the reasons why i was like you know what well, fuck it let's do it let's try like i'm spending 25 pounds for a deposit i'm getting my hair and makeup done and then some pictures taken what could go wrong so i am no way shape or form ready to be in front of a camera right now I've got literally no makeup on and my hair looks so crazy because I just washed it and it's like kind of like natural hair dried whatever but I'm about to go to have a photo shoot at Broadway Studios and I thought I'd vlog it because I'm not too sure whether it's a scam or not I'm about to leave right now to go there and like I said, I'll bring you guys along I've seen quite a few like reviews about this place so I'm like be you know walking in there be like eh, let's see i am not willing to spend any money unless i really really like a picture but like you know i want to take my high complimentary and go 
that would be the plan. Okay, so don't mind the mess behind me. It's all fully closed. So I just need to put it away. But it's time to go. See, they're all folded. Also, I've never been to Brixton, so I guess we're about to explore it. Fast forward to the day I wanted to vlog it all, but then they had a no vlog policy or like just no like filming recording policy, and so I didn't really take any picture or any videos when I was in the place. They were really strict when it came to no camera allowed inside. Even like the page that they made me sign was saying you're not allowed to take any photos with your phone and if they suspect you've taken one and that appears to be true you will literally be expelled from the building so I did not take a risk I guess got to choose how I wanted my hair and makeup to look like the girl did a good job i just feel like i had so much makeup on my face and i'm definitely not used to it and also i asked her to do like a loose curl which was sort of okay it was definitely less loose than i would do it myself but you know it was free so i can't really complain so this is how my hair looks like it's very fancy i mean i feel like my makeup looks quite cakey right now my lips are pretty much gone because i ate mcdonald after because i was so hungry i'm also on my period today so yeah i just wanted some junky food i guess like i said makeup aside because right now it's very light and it definitely look good to take the pictures in but it's not an everyday makeup it's super like intense as in like foundation and stuff i mean you can probably tell so yeah i'm about to take all the makeup off and i am actually excited for the hair but it will stay until tomorrow i guess and then after all the makeup hair extravaganza we went downstairs with this photographer and we started to take different picture. I had three different outfits as well. I really liked the overall experience, I guess. I kind of have a couple of tricks now on how to pose for like a photo shoot and stuff, which I quite liked. So I wouldn't say it's a scam, but I ended up purchasing some of the photos that the photographer took. I also ended up spending 73 pounds, not sure how. But that happened which i was like you know what 73 pounds for four photos it's not too much i might just treat myself and do it but now looking back it was 73 pounds plus the 25 pound that i spent for the deposit and that rounds to 98 pounds so i pretty much spent almost 100 pounds for four photos which is a lot if you ask me they did give me a little invoice breakdown so you can tell they are sort of legit like it's not like a fake scammy company i also read online that some people felt the pressure to purchase the photos like i said i kind of knew what i was getting myself into when i went to the viewing session with these guys and we were scrolling through the pics and i was also super strict saying yes and no i pretty much said no to most of the pictures and then we kind of worked on the price together yeah long story short looking back i wish i got the physical version but i got the digital ones instead because i thought i could post them on my instagram or whatnot i was actually quite surprised on the timing of this whole thing so like i mentioned my appointment was the 3rd of august and then I got the ready images on the 5th of August so yeah that was super duper quick probably because I only picked four of them so you know didn't you really had to do much the timing of this video is definitely a bit of a stretch I was meant to film this ages ago but yeah let me just show you guys the pics and I guess you can tell me in the comments as well if they were worth £25 each pretty much or not but this is the first one and I have two with this like round situation going on and that was pretty much part of the reason why I really wanted to get them I loved this circle I think it was like super eye-catching and this outfit as well is quite cute you can tell that i have so much makeup on and i'm probably not a fan of the shade of the lipstick but then 
I could technically go ahead and edit these photos myself to make them fit my aesthetic a bit more. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty cute pick. Then moving on to the next one, I'm fully inside the circle. I think this is giving major like model vibes and that is pretty much why I love it. Looking back, I wish I brought my guitar with me and I could definitely use them on my Instagram to promote something that's coming very very soon but yeah, I didn't just because I didn't want to bring my guitar because I had to bring all my, you know, changes of clothes as well. So, yeah, that was definitely a dumb mistake considering the fact that I ended up purchasing some of these photos. But, oh well, you leave and you learn. Also, guys, talking about my Instagram, it's at vanilla underscore official. You should definitely check that out and follow me on there because I'll be announcing something very, very soon and I'm sure you do not want to miss stuff. Next up, I have this little close-up. I really love the way this close-up was taken. I love how you can see all my rings and my little necklaces. I think it's super duper cute. You can tell that these are like professional looking photos and it's not like a photo that I took with my phone by myself, which is I guess why they're sort of worth the price maybe. I know you guys tell me what you think in the comments. And then the last photo I've got is these other little one which I really like. I got this dress from Primark and let me tell ya it's super cute. Like it doesn't look like a Primark dress at all. It gives fairy tale vibes which I'm really obsessed with. And yeah, I really like the overall photo. I did bring another outfit, but I didn't really like the pictures I took with that at all. And so I only selected two with the first outfit and two with the second outfit. And I feel like they're quite cohesive, I guess. Those are the ones that I paid for. Overall, I don't know how to feel about it. I do like the pictures and i'm happy that i have them but then i'm like was it actually worth it i am not too sure the way that i'm seeing it is that i go for a picture i got my hair done and i got my makeup done as well and if you go to a salon to get your hair done even if it's just a simple blowout it's definitely quite expensive i was lucky enough to be able to spend that x amount of money without it affecting me too much i guess and I'm also getting this video up for you guys, so I guess it was some sort of worth it. Definitely not a scam, although you do need to be very careful, I guess, with what you're getting yourself into. They should definitely be a bit more specific when it comes to what the complimentary photos really are. Because when you say complimentary photo, everyone is going to assume a JPEG. They're not going to think that it's a physical copy and that you do not own the copyrights for it so if i were to get a physical copies i was not allowed to take a picture with my phone of the photos and then post it on instagram so yeah again they're not a scam but they should definitely be a bit more mindful when it comes to explaining about this complimentary stuff and yeah, I guess that's the end of today's video. It took me a while, but I finally filmed this. So really hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, of course, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below what photo was your favorite and what do you think about Broadway Studio in Brixton? Have you ever been? Are you planning on going? Like. Give me the tea in the comments and other than that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for a brand new cover every tuesday and the main channel sort of video every friday and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye I saw Ocean eyes so deep that I could fall in